Disney! Welcome back to the show. This is your show for Disney tips, tricks, and how to live your best Disney life. I'm Amanda. I'm Robbie Benson. Robbie Benson? Oh, you got a last name now, too? I have a last name this time. Wow. Do you know who Robbie Benson is? No. <laughs> oh, it's the voice of Beast. Oh, it is? From the old school uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. No. The more you know. <laughs> All right, Robbie. Well, you ready to get started? Today, we're going to talk about Beach and Yacht Club Resort at Disney. We've combined the resorts and done one because they're kind of... They're kind of the same thing. Sisters. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have like... A shared pool. Right. A shared character dining. Yeah. So talk about them together. Yeah. Like they're a package deal. And then I have not a quiz for you. We actually got tagged by Fun Fiero. Check out their channel, Fun Fiero. Andy and Liz, they're great. They're awesome. And they tagged- Are they great or awesome? They're both. And they tagged us- One is better than the other. Pick one. They're both, man. All the time. All right. Awesome. Is awesome better? Fine. Awesome is the better one. They're awesome. And they tagged us in the Disney transportation tag. Ooh. So we're gonna. I like to transport. Yeah. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna ask you the questions and see what you say. Okay. Today. Will you also be giving your answer? Sure. I can give my answer too if you'd like it. <laughs> I don't want it, but maybe. Other people would these like. These people to know. would like it. All right. And also, I'm just gonna give you the prize at the end if you answered it. If you answer all the questions like a good boy. Deal. It's getting weird. <laughs> All right, I'm interested right. in the prize, so. All right, so we're going to talk Beach and Yacht Club tonight. We yacht and Beach Club. What did I say? Beach and Yacht Club. Oh, are we supposed to say one before the other? Don't care which one you say first, just saying it backwards. <laughs> just to be oppositional? Just get, yes. I'm just being difficult, Amanda. <laughs> All right, so we are on our Disney Resort Series talk, and we've been loving talking about the resorts at Disney because we just love them so much. And now that the parks are opening, it's just getting me more excited for our trip in August to be able to go hopefully explore the resorts. You don't think it's going to happen? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, either way, we're going in August. Yes. Yes. Even if we just get to hang out at the pool at our, our house. Our Airbnb, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so Beach and Yacht Club. Uh, let's start with number five. You want to go first and give us your number five reason that we love Beach and Yacht Club. My number five reason is the view mm. from the dock. Oh. Where you pick up the boat yeah. at the back of the resort with yep. the little lighthouse. I think it's a cool place. And especially at night where you can see all the boardwalk lit up. Yeah, because it's right next to the boardwalk. So yeah. you can see the boardwalk. It's got a really there. cool view. That's true. Of all the resorts. Oh, yeah. So I, like I thought that. that was a pretty neat aspect of staying at Beach and Yacht Club or that area. Yeah, that's a good one. My number five is at Beach Club, Beaches and Cream. Mm. It's such a cute little like diner area where you can go get like the kitchen sink, which is like all the ice creams in the world. And sure. The kitchen sink. And it's a cute little like beachy diner that they have mm -hmm. right on beach at Beach Club. So peaches and cream. Cool. What's your number four? My number four is the second floor of the Yacht Club. Oh. Where you get to drive the resort and sit at the captain's desk. <gasps> oh my goodness. You have driven the resort many times. I love driving the resort. <laughs> it's one of the best things. Yeah, it has like a wheel. So you can, not a wheel, what do you call it? Steering wheel? It's called the helm. What also is cool at the second floor of the Yacht Club is they have this like little like business area where they have like a... The captain's desk. The captain's desk, That's yeah. Part of the thing that I liked about yeah, it. Yeah, it is very nice and it feels very rich and like mahogany and leather brown books and. <laughs> does it I guess it has that. You know what I mean? Yes, feel? I do. Yes, it does. It has a very expensive feel. To yes. It. yes. But it also has little tiny doors. That's true. It does have little doors. That's weird. Like a ship, maybe? Well, it's supposed to look like a yeah. ship. Yeah. Okay. All right, my number four is a place we've never been, but I have to add it because. It's probably the, one of the best things about the resorts is Stormalong Bay, mm -hmm. which is their pool area. Their 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 pool area is so amazing that they have its own name for it. Yeah, no other resort really has a name. Not only that, but they hire people just to police the entrance. Yeah, it's that amazing. Yeah. Um, one thing that's amazing about this pool is it has a sand bottom. Mm. I think that's probably the big draw to this pool. Also, the slide is I a think pirate, the pirate ship. ship slide is the yeah. coolest part of it. Yeah. So I mean, we've never been able to get into it, but if you guys have, what is is it really worth the hype? Like, how amazing is this pool? Because it's like trying to get into Fort Knox to get into this pool. Yeah. So I put it on there because it's got to be amazing, right? <laughs> I'm sure it is. It looks, it looks fantastic. Beautiful. And it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's it spans, gigantic. It spans both resorts. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's enormous. 
All right, what's your number three? My number three is Robbie. Cape May Cafe. <gasps> That's my number three. Well, there you go. We have the same number three. We do. It's such a great place to go. I love it. I love the walk getting to the Cape May Cafe. Yes. I love being inside of it. The characters are amazing. So want to explain what it is? Uh, it is the character dining buffet at Beach Club. Yeah, well, they do a breakfast. They do only breakfast, right? That's, well, the character dining is at breakfast, but they yeah. also have the lunch buffet, which is mostly seafood. Right, oh yeah, with all you can eat. Like crab legs crab and all legs. kinds of stuff. But, yeah. but the breakfast that we went to was phenomenal. Was I really, really enjoyed good. it. And meeting all the characters was fun. And we were there, what, 45 minutes, and the characters came around three times. At least, yeah. Which was really nice to be able to interact with everybody. Goofy was amazing, and Donald, and yeah. Daisy, and Minnie is there. That was actually my favorite interaction with Donald I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Donald was really funny. Don, that was a great Donald. Yeah, I remember he was like, like reaching over for Daisy across. Yeah. It was, it was, was really cute. He was ogling his love. Yeah, it was really, and then he was getting like jealous of Goofy talking to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the kids loved it. Uh, and it, the food was good. awesome. I mean, yeah. they got, you got, they have your standard Mickey waffles and mm -hmm. um, hash, I remember the hash browns were really good. The little tater tots. Maybe, I remember they had smoked salmon smoked and I, salmon. I ate all of it. Yeah, I know, I went to go get more and it, it was gone and I don't think they were gonna put out more. It was the end of the day. It was the end uh, of the breakfast service. Before they did so, yeah, the so lunch. Yeah, so whatever they had out was what you got. Right, right. That makes sense. But it was fun. It was really great. Yeah, that was a good one. Good one. All right, my number two. Oh, you're on to your number two, aren't you? You can oh. take it if you want it. My number two is the lobby smells. Mm. Especially Yacht Club. I do like the Yacht Club smell. The smell in the Yacht Club, I just can't explain it. It's like fresh ocean air. Beachy, flowery, just amazing. It's. De I think it's one. Of, I think I like it the best of all the resorts. It's mm -hmm. my favorite smell, even more than Polynesian. I'm gonna wow. say. Wow, I actually like the Beach Club. You like the smell Beach Club better? Lot, yeah. Yeah. I wonder the if we could get that from Magic Candle Company. We'll have to take a look. Yeah. Let cool. us know. Have you guys ordered those candles? They smell good. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy those smells too? Because I love them. They are great. Yeah. Uh, number two for me is the location to all the other resorts. So there's not a ton to do at the Beach and Yacht Club, but how lucky you are that you get to walk all over to the other places. Mm -hmm. Or you can walk over to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. That's true. Which is really neat. So, you know, a quick jump over to the boardwalk and you have some fun nightlife. Yeah. So. That's your number two is my number one. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Location. My number one is location, location. I put it twice. Location, wow. location. Now, yeah, you're close to all those great resorts and also a walking distance to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. You can't get much better than that. Exactly. I wonder if you can see the fireworks. I don't know. At We've night, never tried. The Epcot or the Hollywood Studios fireworks. You probably can. Yeah, you can probably kind of see it. Well, I know that you can see Spaceship Earth. Yeah, so if you can see. From the boardwalk, so you must be able to see something. Right, right. That's cool. Yeah. Well, my number one was the pool. Oh. Which I thought was really neat, even though, like we said, we've never been in. But yeah. I'm going to change my number one, and I'm going to say the nautical theming <gasps> oh, inside of Yacht Club. One. I really like. I like yeah. the globe and the ships and the maps and yeah. uh, the seats that they have in front of, especially like the cool kids area in front of the TV that you can mm -hmm. watch. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I wanted to put in Ale and Compass Lounge, which looks really nice, but we'd never been there, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, I didn't want to put that either because yeah. even though it looks cool, we've never actually been. Yeah, we haven't tried it. It's just a cool, cool aspect of it, but. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that was fun. That was fun. Now I want to go back. I love Beach and Yacht Club. I just want to go anywhere. I know. I just want to be at Disney. That's anywhere. all I want. That's not our house. <laughs> all right, so you have a quiz. Oh, that's no, right. It's a we have a tag. tag. We have a Disney tag from Fun Fiero, and stay tuned to the till the end because we're gonna tag another channel. Oh, are we? All right. So this is a transportation tag, and I think it was created by Bob and Kelly because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they make all the good tags. Okay. All right. Number one. So just give me your best answer, Chris. Would you rather surf with Nemo or sail with Moana? Wow. Um, I like to go with the flow, so I choose Nemo. <gasps> oh no. I just got that song stuck out of my, got out go of my with head. The flow. Oh, 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 oh. oh goodness! So you you want to surf? I would love to surf. With really? Me. Yeah. Surfing scares me. Why? It's scary. It's like I don't know. It's but wayfinding like, is like intense because there's no, there's nothing. Hmm. What if you like fall off the ship and the ship floats away, and then you get eaten by a shark? Well, you could do that. Could happen on surfing too. Yeah, but I'm less likely to be eaten by a shark close to shore than I am in the middle of the ocean. Mm, okay, it's And come across a hungry shark. 
Touche. I'd still rather sail with Moana. Hey, go sail with Moana. I like Nemo's Moana. cooler we can anyway. Hang out. All right, number two. Would you rather drive like Cruella de Vil or Vanellope von Schweetz? Uh, I relate more with Cruella de Vil, so I choose <gasps> yeah. Cruella de Vil. Why do you, do you hate puppies? I hate everything. <laughs> I'm just a miserable misanthrope. <laughs> okay, so you, you relate more to the villain yeah. than the hero. I would definitely be a villain if I was a Disney character. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, Ma, I would choose Vanellope. She's awesome. She's so cute and adorable, and she's a good racer. Cruella just drives like a maniac. <gasps> you are Cruella de Vil in the car. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm a good driver. All right, number three. Would you rather sail with Captain Hook or with Captain Jack Sparrow? That is a good question. I am a pretty big fan of rum. Mm -hmm. And I also like people with two hands. Oh, you also love Captain Hook, though. I do love Captain Hook. This is hard, but I like Jack I Sparrow a lot. I like them both. And I like rum. So I'm going to pick Jack Sparrow. All right. Um, we have actually been watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. We just... Did we finish? No, we have one more movie left to watch. And uh, I love Captain Jack Sparrow, so I choose him. I think he cracks me up. Mm -hmm. He's so cool. Also, Hook has a little bit too much of an obsession with young boys. Oh, creepy. Which is kind of creepy. Oh, I never thought of that. That's true. All right, number four. Would you rather fly with the up balloons or with Mary, Pop Mary Poppins' umbrella? Uh, Mary Poppins. Hands down. Yeah. I love Mary Poppins. I know it's controversial, but I'm not the biggest fan of the movie Up. Yeah. It's a little too sentimental for me. I love it. I know you do, and I know a lot of other people do, and I'm not bashing it. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not a fan. But honestly, Up, I love the beginning part of it. I like the sentimental part, and then I kind of like, I get a little bored I'm by the end. I'm, yeah, I'm bored within five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I've ever actually watched that movie all the way through. Really? I've caught enough of it that I've seen the whole thing. Yeah. But I've never sat through more than 20 to 30 minutes of it at a time. Yeah, and I like, I do like the dogs. I think the dog is funny. I, think I like that the dogs can talk and all that. But like, probably like 40 minutes into it, I get lost, bored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a good movie. It, I'm not yeah. bashing it. I love it. I cry every single time. I just because yeah. you cry doesn't mean it's a good movie. <laughs> it's the beginning is really good. <laughs> it's just boring. All right, number five. Would you, oh, I didn't answer mine. Oh yeah. Um, I think I'd rather do the up balloons because then I get a whole house. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. Um, would you rather fly like Peter Pan or swim like Ariel? I'd rather fly. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I could fly to Disney. <gasps> sure, you could swim to Disney if you were Ariel. Yeah, but I'd have to drive to the ocean and then like get in and it would take me a few minutes to acclimate to the cold True. here in the East Coast. Yeah, but if you were a mermaid, you wouldn't have to acclimate. You're like a mermaid. Uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> but I'm not gonna take that chance. I'm just gonna fly. All right, I'm picking Ariel because I have to. She's my girl. Yeah. My favorite movie. All right, number six. Would you rather ride a car made from candy, like in Wreck-It Ralph, or a carriage made from a pumpkin, like in Cinderella? I don't... Think of the smells, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the, the textures. How long has the carriage been a pumpkin? How long has the pumpkin been a carriage? It only has till midnight. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't want to ride a candy car, because that seems Fine. dangerous. I definitely don't want to ride in a pumpkin, but I'll pick the pumpkin over the candy cane. Why? Because I don't want to stick to the seats. And what okay. if it's like a hot day and I sit in hot melted candy? What's like, that sucks. What about hot pumpkin? <laughs> Maybe it'll be cooked and it'll smell like autumn. Oh, that's true. Maybe like the heat will cook it and it'll yeah. smell like true. pumpkin spice. Um, I want to choose the candy car because if I get hungry, I can just like grab a little piece of it and it's kind of fun. You know how much dirt would be all over a candy car? Yeah, but not the inside. Sure, everywhere. <sighs> all right, number seven. Would you rather have Herbie the Love Bug or Guinevere from Onward? So the van from Onward or Herbie the Love Bug? The van from Onward. You know, oh, Guinevere? yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I'm a pretty big fan of dumpy vans. So, you are? Um, yeah, Since they're awesome. When? I've always wanted like a dumpy van. I never knew that about you. Yeah, like you. a Cody van. This must be the Robbie in you. It must be. It's mm. coming out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I've always been like. Remember, remember Cody from Step by Step? How he had yeah. that, like dumpy van. He slept and he slept in. in it. Yeah. Like I've never owned one, and I've never vocally said yeah. 
I would love to have this. But if yeah. the opportunity ever came up to have a van and sleep in it, I would probably do it. Interesting. Okay. So you picked Guinevere. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to pick Herbie the love bug because I wouldn't have the drive. He, the car drives itself. You know, we live in an age now where cars drive themselves. Yeah, but... Like, that's not such an unheard of thing. I don't feel like it's as intuitive as Herbie the love bug. Herbie the love bug has a personality. Teslas have a personality, too. Yeah, cold robot. <laughs> Herbie the Love Bug is like warm and. Well, scary. Teslas won't be emotional and drive and they, on sidewalks. Like, pick songs to like try to talk to you. I bet Teslas don't do that. I bet they do. <laughs> All right, number eight. Would you rather ride the train or the monorail at Magic Kingdom right now? Honestly, I'd rather ride the train because it's been closed for so long. I agree. I miss we've the ridden, train. We've ridden the monorail a few times. Yeah. Um, yeah. I definitely want to ride the train and just knock it off of it. Yeah, I love the monorail. Don't get me wrong. But I'm missing the train because yeah. it's, it's been, been closed. Yeah, it's been closed for a year. Yeah, because of um, Tron construction. Because of Corona. No Tron construction. No, the train saw the Corona coming a year ago. <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna park myself right yep. here. <laughs> I'm not getting it. <laughs> Don't let nobody in. Give me your germs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the train. I miss it. Aww. Me too. All right, number nine. Would you rather race Lightning McQueen or Tron? Oh, speaking of Tron. Uh, Lightning McQueen. So I, I wasn't sure if this meant like race against them or race in them. Well, probably e either way, mm -hmm. I don't know much about Tron. I yeah. just know it's light bikes. Yeah. I don't know much about Tron either, so I picked Lightning McQueen. Perfect. Yeah. Number 10. There's two more. Okay. Would you rather wait for the resort buses or for a minivan? Hands down a minivan. Yeah, this seemed like an easy... <laughs> those, those buses are intense sometimes. They take forever. Yeah, we've waited. Yeah. Like the, waited. the value resort buses. Oh my goodness. When we stayed at All Stars. I feel like the value resort buses come way more Actually, often than right. the good resort buses. Because there's more people, they have probably have more buses available. But at the same time, years ago when we used to stay at the All Stars, mm. the line oh. near the end of the night... It would take four buses before right. you actually got on. And with the kids sleeping and like holding them. Oh. Yeah. yeah, minivans all the way. Yeah, hands we down. We haven't rode one. Are they worth it? Have you guys ridden a minivan yet? Yeah, we've always, well, recently, especially this last trip, we Ubered a few Ubered, times yeah. to and from the parks. And I find that value to be incredible. Yes. And because of the cost of the minivan versus the Uber, mm -hmm. I would take an Uber. F well, not an Uber, a Lyft. Lyft. I would take a Lyft first. Right. We it's don't do Uber. Does minivan work with Uber? It works with Lyft. Oh, Lyft, okay. But I think it's more expensive. Well, yeah, because you're in the, it only goes to the resorts. Yeah. We usually stay off property, so that's why we use mm -hmm. Lyft. But um, yeah, I want to try it someday. Uh, in the last question, would you rather take the friendship boats or the Skyliner? So any of the resort boats? That's a good or question. The Skyliner I the enjoyed the Skyliner gondola, mm -hmm. but would I rather take it? No. Mm. You like the boats better? I think I like the boats better. There's as, as much as there was air coming through, mm -hmm. if it was a hot day, I don't necessarily want to be in the gondolas. Yeah. And if it, when they stop, it kind of freaks me out. Yeah. Because some of, of what the, happened. Some of the stopping was abrupt. Yeah. And I would never, ever, 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 ever want to be stopped up there for more than a couple of minutes. Well, you have this, like, fear of heights. I don't have a fear of heights. I have a fear of falling, <laughs> falling from, from heights. heights. Well, same thing. It's not the same thing. I'm not afraid of the height. I'm afraid of the possibility of falling. Right. If you put me in an airplane, I don't have a fear of heights. Uh -huh. If you put me on a Ferris wheel, I kind of am like, I could possibly you have more fall. Of a chance. Okay. Like, the screws could come out and the thing could just start spinning. Well, what about your chances of falling from the Skyliner? I didn't have a fear of heights in the sky, no? okay. but I would not Even be happy. Even over traffic? No. Okay. I, had, I had no problem with being okay. in the Skyliner. I don't want to be stuck in the Skyliner. Yeah, yeah. There is nowhere to go. As opposed to being stuck in a boat, I would be fine with that. I, how would you get stuck in a boat? Like if the boat broke down. Okay, so the boat breaks down, yeah. they send another boat, you get off. Yeah. You can't send another gondola. Right. And you're not going to like send a helicopter. Yeah. So. But it still would take some, you'd be sitting there waiting on the boat. Like, I would be fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck and in And you could always get out and swim if you're like, right? Would they let you, you think? No. <laughs> there are alligators in there. Oh, yeah. And like snakes that will bite you and poison oh, you. Oh, that's true. You can't swim in that lake. Oh, okay. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, but I would hang out on the boat and be fine. Yeah. And like if you have to go to the bathroom, you could like kind of go over the edge, whereas in the gondola, you can't. 
can you go? I never thought about alligators when I'm in the boat. Until you just said Yeah, that. no, that's a thing. Do they do alligators attack people on boats? No, they do not attack. <laughs> What? If this was some cheesy B horror movie, yes, yeah. they would attack you on the boat. But they but just leave you alone. They would no. They they're not going to go after you. But if they were hungry and you were in the water splashing around, they might try to go after you. Uh -huh. And I don't know how many alligators exist there. Probably not that many. But yeah. the errant alligator may be in the water the day that you decide <laughs> to swim to shore. And not to mention, it might be like a half a mile for you to swim to a shore that would make sense. Wow, you are really knowledgeable on this stuff. I. <laughs> no, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you're in the middle of Bay Lake, yes. I mean, it's going to take some That's time true. to swim to shore. I know, it's pretty big lake. And I don't swim that fast. Like, I swim yeah. like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> Do the back stroke. Yeah. So anyway, that was fun. <gasps> that was Good actually tag. a really fun tag. Um, it's funny that only the last question spawned the most discussion. I know. I'm excited for the beef jerky every it's, week. But do you see what kind it is? Yes, it's, it's seasoned pork jerky. Oh, it's, I thought I got the bacon one. You did not get bacon, Oops. you got seasoned pork jerky. I grabbed the wrong one. And Walt Disney World, 1,367 miles. I ordered that off Etsy. I think that's great. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's... I was kind of disappointed with the size, but it, it's cute. Um, we got it from... Oh, they burned it. They burned it, yeah. Did they actually take our location? Yes. Wow, that's kind of fun. That's the exact location. Fun. I just put, where you know, our date. Mm -hmm. I mean, our date, our address. And this is from Happy Place Signs on Etsy. <gasps> All right, well, we have to tag a channel to also do this, um, answer these questions. And we're going to tag Diz Family Adventures. So... Oh, good. Yeah, please answer these questions. We want to know what you guys would pick for answers. And if you haven't checked out their channel, make sure you do, because they do a lot of fun um, Disney pin openings and um, Dis you know Disney box openings. They have awesome ears, and they're really funny. So check them out. I dig it. Yeah. How's the barbecue? Um, Not bad. It smells good. The pork kind of throws me off, but... I wish I meant to get the bacon. Mmm. Bacon and pork are kind of... That is good. Same thing. Mmm. It's good. All right, guys. Well... Thanks for joining us. I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to schedule your fast passes. Soon. 